What's up people, Manor here, coming to you with a video. This time we are going to be making the under bed storage for the IKEA bed that I had assembled. Uh, check out the description of the video for that uh, link. Uh, the one product that I got is from IKEA. The date of this recording, the price of this is 95 bucks for two storage bins. And this one is 95 because this is suitable for king and queen. If you're using a twin bed, that one, if I recall correctly, retails for 75 bucks. The two storage bins that you're looking at are called the Malm storage containers. The product code of this bin is 602 That's the area where this product is made. And the weight of this item is 22 kilograms. Uh, so be a little bit conscientious about the overall weight because you might need two people or one really strong person to do that to unbox it all i'm going to use is a multi-tool and what i'm hoping is that ikea is going to include all the necessary hardware just be careful uh, because anytime that you're using a sharp knife or something you don't want to damage the box and you don't want to damage yourself either by that i mean you don't want to cut yourself pro tip to open these containers just rotate them upside down that way you can see where the glue is just take the knife and put it in here and just cut it through that way you're reducing the likelihood of scratching anything and with a little bit of knife work the box has been opened and these are the content of the box everything looks pretty good the color of this matches the color of the bed although it doesn't have that wood grain in the front uh, on the bottom board which is okay and keep in mind for this price you're getting two storage bins and the two storage bins dimensions are 24 inch by 39 and a half inch and in classic IKEA fashion uh, instruction manual you will need a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver uh, the image that they're using is of a toolbox that I got from IKEA for nine bucks that had everything so that's I think kind of cute and it has wheels so it can move back and forth so let's get started with the assembly uh, the main thing that I'm doing right now is I'm taking off all the parts and putting them on the side that way I can use the cardboard itself as a surface to work on otherwise you can always use a rug that way you're not scratching the wood or the floor or the wood floor and this one is just empty cardboard uh, props to IKEA this one is a recyclable material so please recycle and I don't see any plastic so far so good job IKEA save the environment and this is the assembly box that they provide use your knife carefully open the box never cut towards yourself like I'm doing but I'm a professional as you can see remember safety is number one priority just be careful and good job IKEA normally they pack these items in plastic uh, translucent plastic which is not good for the environment I'm glad that they are not doing that good job on that IKEA uh, we can close the knife now we can use the multi-tool and I'll link the product description of this item in the video so you can take a look we will need a Phillips head screwdriver to drive the screws in the box you will have 16 of these screws uh, they use a Phillips head screw on the top uh, for the initial assembly you will only need eight of them two for each of the storage bins so one two three four one two three four step one we need to put two of these screws on the top and the bottom hole don't put anything on this one just on this one and this one and repeat on the other side too one down so either using a multi-tool with a phillips head attachment or just a regular tool just secure them and again only on the top and the bottom leave the middle one empty we will do the same here you can start the initial threading by hand that way you're not in uh, you're not risking over threading or bulging out the wood that is there Again, not using any power tools just using a generic screwdriver ikea normally ikea normally includes uh, the tools 
But I guess in this case, they want to save some money. And when you're threading it, please make sure that your threading is straight, as straight as you can. Step one is done. Step two, we need to get these four wooden spikes into these boards. How can you tell which one it is? It's the one with the bigger holes. The reason why I want to clarify this is because you do have uh, this board also with the smaller holes. The wooden spike that we're putting is in the one that has the bigger holes in it. And there is a dent right here. That's where the wooden peg goes. Do yourself a favor if you plan to assemble quite a few of these items. Go to the dollar store or dollar and 10 cent store and get a uh, rubber mallet. It gets the job done. And just insert it here. You don't need to tap it, but one on one side, one on the other side. Yes, tap. And there are four, and there are four of these. So two for each side of the container. Just tap. And if you don't have a mallet, just tap on the ground. <laughs> tap on the ground. So that kind of can do the thing too. I've all, I've also seen some people use wood glue uh, to put in this or regular glue don't do that it's not a, it's not worth it when you have to take it out it becomes a pain so just push it in and do this for all four of the boards two for one storage bin two for the other storage bin now how do you assemble this thing is the holes need to be going outwards and the board has holes on it these holes needs to be facing this way so basically this thing needs to go this way the holes needs to be towards the groove these holes needs to be facing this way and this peg needs to go in here and there are corresponding holes so they're going to fit right in and this is when the mallet comes in handy now let's do the same for the other side too it's really easy take note of the holes they need to be going towards the groove and this thing needs to be facing outwards Step number four, we need to put these gremlet things underneath here and then tighten them. And the way we're going to put them in is it's going to look like a minus. That way it can go right in and then we tighten it. So we take this and put it in like so and put it that way the minus thing is facing outwards. You don't want to put it the wrong way. You won't be able to because it's going to block. When you put it in, the screw is going to go right here when you rotate it's good when you rotate it's going to tighten up once it's in take a flathead screwdriver or multi-tool that has a flathead end put it in rotate to make sure it's snug put it in rotate and you will feel it you don't want to force it because this plastic is going to break one side's done do the same for the other side plain and simple put it in you should not have to hammer it in. If you're hammering it in, see exactly how you're putting it in. You should be able to just put it with, with your hand with little to no resistance. Then lefty loody, righty tighty. This is done. Let's do the same for the other one. All right, this is done. Now we need to do step number five, which is the other board. And we need to get the same screws connected so move this towards the edge that way you're not scratching anything and let's get the other boards in and this is the other board that only has three holes on one side three holes on the other side and to connect this you guessed it right we're going to use these screws one here one here this area is not going to get anything in it reason being that's going to meet on the top with this wooden knob two here two here two here hand tighten initially then come in with your multi-tool to connect it multi-tool or a screwdriver whatever works just don't use a power tool it's make sure you don't over thread it
Now flip the other side and do the same thing. Now to connect this to this, we need to make sure that these holes are pointing outwards. In other words, these holes need to be pointing this way. And so it's gonna go basically like this. The board is gonna go underneath. It's gonna go in the, the screws are gonna go here. And these holes needs to be facing towards the groove. So basically, so basically this hole needs to be aligned with this hole. So both of them need to be facing in the same direction. If you have it facing on the other side, that's gonna be a problem. And once you have one side in, get the other side in also, that way it actually goes plumb. And similar to before, we're gonna be using the plastic drumlets and putting them in and tightening them. Just put that in. And as you can see, as soon as I tightened this, this became flush. So before you had a white groove visible, after you tighten the plastic knobs, it made it all plumb. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just rotate, put this thing in, put the other plastic thing in. And if it's not flush, don't worry, when you're tightening it, it'll go flush. There you go. This one is done. Gonna do the same thing from the other side. Make sure this hole is facing towards the bottom groove. One side is in, put the other side in, take the flathead screwdriver and tighten it. And that is tightened too. Now we need to flip this upside down and insert the back cover now how do you know which side does this go because there are holes over here and the, there are holes on the other side too uh, note the wheel assembly has two small holes they're going to be visible right here and the way that this is going to go is this white side is going to be going inside this groove so if this is facing so if this white groove is facing on the other side problem you're going to have is you're not going to have any holes to put in the screws so again keep in mind that this white side needs to go inside here and just push it in ikea recommends that you put it down and you insert it from the top i think doing it this way is easy that will you're allowing gravity to do the job and the screw are going in uh, fortunately they do give you an allen key and these long screws that are going to be going in my recommendation i do feel that you need to at least secure four corners so one two three four that way you can get everything situated and squared away one screw is here i'm just going to secure four screws first that way i know it's actually plumb and it's going to secure, go in without any problem so go in the middle one side is done now i'm going to connect the one here and then one on the corner and pro tip you can move the board that is not connected on the bottom a little bit up and down to get it flush and plumb once you have all the sides secure now you can put in the screws everywhere else by the way i do feel that because they are using a heavy duty board and they're using uh, heavy duty screws or you're not getting one of those storage systems that is a either plastic which is bad for the environment because it's not renewable and doesn't decay once you are done using it secondary you're not using one of those particle boards that have just cardboard on the back with the thin nails that are non-supportive and don't hold on any weight this one is a little bit more resilient this one is a lot more resilient and long lasting do the same thing here by the way once you have this initial screw in rather than using the long way just rotate it this way that way you have a little bit more leverage and woohoo the last of the screws and then we can connect the wheels that way it can rotate, uh, come in and out of the bed really easily and this is what i was talking about when you're using this initial one it'll pinch your thumb once it's in rotate it sideways all right now this is done the final thing that we have to do is connect the wheels to do that i'm not going to put it on the ground uh, just put the wheel here and they have a small screw that will go in what i like to do is i like to what i like to do is i like to put the screw in first and hold it with my thumb that way it doesn't fall and just very gently 
just put it here then get your screwdriver one done make sure it's completely straight and do the same thing other sides also same thing for the other side this side is done we just need to put two more wheels on the other side and the last one is in and to insert the bed frame just push it towards the edge and smooth as silk the biggest benefit is because this is completely flush it has a nice look to it uh, you are getting a lot of storage underneath your bed let me assemble the other one i'll show them side by side to you that you can see how it looks and finally the second one is also done and as you can see it goes right in flush with the bed doesn't even look intrusive at all and benefit is you get huge amount of storage almost one whole foot <laughs> i guess you because you have plenty of room now you can put uh, your winter clothing uh, your winter gear your extra clothes use it as storage if you're watching the video this far don't forget to like comment subscribe and share if you have any questions or concern feel free to leave them in the comment section below and i will see you guys and girls on the next video take care people bye e